chances are if you've been carving pumpkins for Halloween, you're going to have a lot of these. Pumpkin seeds. Uh, instead of just throwing them away, you can coat them with some butter, some salt, and roast them. They make a quick, easy, cheap snack. First, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, it's important, I just took these out of my pumpkin and I put them on a paper towel that they would dry. Uh, for this recipe, you need dried pumpkin seeds. Uh, to speed up the drying process, I actually blow dried mine with a hair dryer. So make sure they're dry, let them sit out for a few hours or blow dry them, but you don't want these to be too wet. Now what you want to do is you want to take two cups of your seeds. Uh, if you have more or less, don't be afraid to change this recipe to reflect how many seeds you have. I mean, don't throw away any seeds. So, I had about two cups. Okay, to that you can add about a tablespoon of butter, which is three teaspoons. You can vary it depending on how many seeds you have or how much butter you want. So, pour that on there. And then you need a pinch or two of salt. Now, because my butter was already salted, I am not going to add a whole lot of salt. Oops, yes, I'm just going to add a very minimal amount. Okay. Now just very simply toss these around. Make sure they all kind of get coated with a little bit of butter and they can get some of that salt. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to spread these out on a baking sheet and we're going to bake them for 45 minutes or until they're nice, brown, and crispy. And you can stir them occasionally as they're baking. Okay, I've got my baking sheet. I did spray it a little bit, but the recipe I'm using said you didn't have to. So, pour them on there. And just spread them out, because you want them all to touch the surface of the pan, that way they all cook evenly. Okay, there we go. Now we can bake this, and I'm going to stir it every 15 minutes. So I'm going to stir them around two or three times, and then they'll be done. Okay, my oven at 300 degrees is done preheating. I'm going to open them up, put them in there, and then they bake for around 45 minutes. So it could probably vary by 5 or 10 minutes. Uh, also, stir them as they're baking. So like in 10 or 15 minutes, I'm going to stir them a little bit. Okay, it's uh, been 15 minutes, so I'm just going to stir these seeds a little bit. You know, nothing too fancy, just, you know, stir them around a little bit. They're starting to smell good. Because my oven is so freaking hot, they'll probably be done in another 15 minutes. So just, you know, stir them, make sure they still stay flat, move them around a little. Nothing too, you know... Don't put too much energy into it, but okay, there. Uh, stirred them up a little bit, so give them another 15 to 20 minutes, maybe half hour, depending on your oven. All right, it's been about half an hour, but for my oven, that is that's enough time. And as you can see, they look nice and brown. Uh, I tried one; it's pretty good. They need a little more salt, mine do at least. So, let them cool down, and then you've got some great roasted pumpkin seeds. Grabbed a few of them, put some more salt on them, and they're good. If you're going to be carving a pumpkin for Halloween, you're already going to have the seeds. Chances are you have butter and salt. So this recipe is basically free, and you're going to end up with a few cups of good tasting roasted pumpkin seeds.